Kindred's section, The Fight, is broken into 16 parts. In part one, Dana recalls that four months after they meet, after a fight they have over her refusal to type up Kevin's handwritten manuscripts for him, Kevin kicks her out. But she returns the next day, to his surprise. Dana isn't expecting Kevin to propose, partly because they've never talked about their families. But he does! They agree to visit family members separately to tell them the news of their engagement. Kevin's sister is mortified. Dana's aunt and uncle are like parents to her, since her own parents died young, but they're upset about it too. Her uncle even disinherits her. Kevin and Dana drive to Las Vegas and marry. In part two, Dana wakes up on the floor in her own time on June 11th, 1976, only one day later than when she and Kevin traveled back in time. Dana tends to her excruciatingly painful back wounds. What will happen to Kevin? How many years may pass for him before she sees him again? Dana packs another bag with supplies in case she's called back into the past. The next morning, memories of the past disorient Dana. She asks her cousin to bring groceries, afraid to disappear while driving or falling down in the street. Dana's cousin assumes Kevin caused Dana's bruises and urges Dana to go to the police about abuse. Dana keeps her bag with her as she reads books about slavery and Nazi brutality, then drops sleeping pills into her bag just in case. In part three, after eight days in LA, dizziness takes Dana back to the past, in the woods where a black man is beating Rufus viciously. A woman wearing a torn dress watches the fight. Dana realizes that Rufus attempted to, or did, rape the woman, and the black man is beating him in retaliation. The man knocks Rufus out. Dana finds out he is a slave named Isaac. The woman is his wife, a grown-up Alice. Alice tells Dana that Rufus is no longer her friend, he did rape her. Dana convinces Isaac not to kill Rufus. She needs him to find Kevin, but to run away instead. Alice tells Dana that Kevin waited for her, but eventually left to travel to the north. Rufus knows where he lives. In part four, Dana cleans the blood from Rufus's face and learns Rufus loves Alice and raped her because he didn't want her to leave with Isaac. Rufus wants Isaac to be killed, or he wants Alice, a free woman, to be caught with Isaac so Rufus will be able to buy and enslave her. Dana is disturbed by the idea of Rufus getting what he wants as a result of his act of rape. Dana convinces Rufus to say he's injured because some drunk white men beat him. This will give Alice and Isaac a head start from the patrol who will go after them. Rufus agrees to lie. 